Welcome to Deliciously with Ara. Gagawa tayo ngayon ng Korean corn dog. It's a batter. <laughs> Sorry, naputol. Wait, I'll get another stick. So this one is one of the most popular Korean street foods. When you go to Korea, sa mga tabi, -tabi you can see a lot of them frying this kind of corn dogs. But in Korea, we call this hot dogs. Either way, it's a very simple recipe that I'm going to show you na pwede and pwede yung gawin in your own homes using the ingredients that you can have an access to. So are you ready? Tara na! So of course, our most important ingredient here is our hot dogs. So you can have any kinds of variants of hot dogs or sausages that you want to use in their house. And optional is would be our cheese. So I have here one block of mozzarella cheese because mama yaga gawa tayo ng dalawang variant. Isa is buong hot dog, isa naman is kalahati hot dog, kalahati cheese. And also optional is our potatoes. And for our batter, we need our egg, water, flour, salt, sugar, yeast, and breadcrumbs mama yaga to coat before we fry. That as simple, and we're gonna start our batter. So first, we'll get a mixing bowl. And the measurement I'm gonna show you is just, you know, I'm gonna um, still upload the exact measurements, but this is just for our, you know, para sa bahay lang, using our spoon. So just get one and any kind of spoon you have. And we'll have to add one cup, one and a half cup of flour. So this is around one cup. The exact measurement we need is 250 grams, but that's roughly around one and a half. So, so we have our flour, and we'll have to add our yeast. This is very important because ito yung parang magpapa, uh, magpapa, it makes it parang nagpapa bula don sa ating yeast, uh, ating batter later. I don't know how to explain it better, but you'll see later. So sa ating flour, gagawa tayo ng tatlong butas, like one, two, just roughly. And then we need around six grams of our yeast, or around like one one tablespoon per contila. So this is roughly around six grams. So when we put our yeast, sugar, and salt, better not to have them mixed, kasi buso natin muna siya para kasi when they mix with one another, nakakaroon siya ng some kind of reaction na mamatay yung yeast. So we need three tablespoons of sugar, or around twenty-eight grams. And we need around um, four grams of salt or around three fourths ng isang spoon. So, of course, if you have exact measurement, much better, but I think this is fine enough. So, around three fourths. As you can see, hindi ko talaga siya hinalo. And once we have given their spaces, chakalang natin siya iparang yahalo isa isa. So, after we've added here our yeast, salt, and sugar, we're going to add our wet ingredients, such as our egg. So we need one egg. And we need around 225 milliliters of water, or that's roughly around one cup. Parang kulang kulang na isang cup. So we'll just boost it here. So that simple, haluin lang natin siya. So haluin lang natin siya na haluin until we see that all our mixtures have melt, have you know totally dissolved, and parang dapat medyo parang sticky ang dating niya. So when we lift up, parang ganyan. So that consistency, and then we'll have to leave this batter. Kasi di mo nila kaya natin ng yeast kanina, so we have to leave it in our room temperature for around 30 to an hour, or sometimes can be up to like two hours, hanggang nagdoble ang kanyang size. So we just have to set it aside, and then magpaprepare tayo ng mga ating ibang ingredients. So while we wait for our batter to rise up, we'll prepare the other ingredients pang frying. So of course, kanina natusok ko na siya sa stick yung ating um, hot dogs. But then the other half, I want to give a slight different variant. Na kalahating hot dog, kalahating cheese. Or you can actually use a different variant of cheese, whatever you have. So here I have mozzarella. Ika-cut natin siya ng kasing kapal ng ating hot dogs. So there. What we will do is um, we'll get a, like a small barbecue stick or even chop, wooden chopsticks or whatever stick you have to um, cut lang ko lang ng konti yung ating hot dogs. So babawasan ko yung kanyang dulo and then itutusok natin siya yung ating cheese sa taas. So we'll be preparing like this. 
So this also optional your potatoes. So if ever you wanna use, if you have breadcrumbs, pwede kayo magfry gumamit ng breadcrumbs. But just for a little twist, pwede tayo maggawa ng ating potato as our crumbs. So we have to cut this in small cubes lang. So ito yung batter na ginawa natin ngayon. And beforehand, gumawa na ako ng um, isa pang batch. Same measurement. Basta makikita niyo yung difference. Dodobli yung size and magiging bubbly. So once your dough becomes like this, I mean the batter becomes like this, it's ready to be used. So now let's start frying our corn dogs. So di ba we have our corn dog kanina? One is a sausage and one is our, um, yung half is mozzarella. We'll just sprinkle konti with our flour. Just, just roughly. So we've covered our hot dogs with our flour and before we dip them on our batter, as you can see, the consistency should be very much parang gluey. And just for you know, parang convenience now, we'll add I'll add content cooking oil sa ating kamay. Para hindi siya dumikit later on. So we get a stick. Then parang ikot ikot natin siya on the batter. So when we have already done this, mag-add i-add natin siya sa breadcrumbs. And do you remember when you've seen our um, soy garlic episode, I've taught you how to measure the temperature without having any temperature thermometer. So we need our oil to be around 180 degrees. So we'll do another test. Kuha tayo ng konting batter. And then it'll drop off natin siya. And then pag lumutang siya agad in the count of three, that means 180 degrees. Perfect to be cooked. So let's see. One, two, three. Yay! There. It means it's 180 degrees. So now we'll start frying our coated batter. We'll put it on our. So now I want to show you yung isapang variant using our potato instead of bread crumbs. So this is totally optional. So yung kada hating um yung cheese. We'll still put our batter. So gamitin natin ng ating spoon and we can also shape with our hands. Pabilog. So after we've shaped it with our hands, yung batter na cover, instead na breadcrumbs, maglalagay tayo ng ating potato cubes. So ididikit natin siya. And then, ipafry natin. So there, as long as it's all golden brown, we'll turn off the fire. Let's just train natin siya. So finally, tapos na tayo magprito ng ating hot dogs. What we will do is, I'll give you another secret tip how to eat our Korean corn dogs ng masarap. So first, we get our yung na strain natin. And the secret to our Korean corn dog is actually sugar. So you need to sprinkle a lot of sugar ng asukal. So here is our Korean corn dog. Now we have to sprinkle some ketchup. If you have mustard and gusto niyo mustard, you can actually do so. But I prefer ketchup and mayo. So it's really up to you. Anong klaseng sauce ang gusto niyo. So we'll just drizzle it on top. So tada! Here's our Korean corn dogs. A perfect snack for your family. Napaka simple lang gawin. Ang sarap pa. So enjoy! Let's try eating our Korean corn dogs. Very chewy, very malasa the hot dogs, but then the potato, it's like brown french fries, so it's like one in one bite you have everything, and the sugar is the kick. Hi, Mama. Okay.